Veterans Day today, all week really, and as we honor veterans for their service, of course, we think of relatives, friends, family members, of course, but tomorrow, some of those veterans will be homeless still and unemployed. ABC 17's Kirsty Crawford joins us now live. And Kirsty, the number of homeless veterans has been declining recently, but it is expected to increase in the next 10 years or so. That's right, Pete. There's been more and more people joining the military within the last 10 years, mostly part of the Iraq and Afghan Afghanistan era. The executive director of Welcome Home says about 30% of all the homeless people in America are veterans. A little more than 1% of them are here in Missouri. And the unemployment rate is 5.7%. Tim Rich says a veteran doesn't always have a hard time finding a job when they come home. It's years later. Those scars, emotional, mental, and even physical, often take years before they really come back to the surface and affect a person's life. A veteran who is at the shelter recovering from surgery says military people are just wired differently the transition <clears throat> into the civilian life is just some folks just don't get it more than half of the unemployed veterans are 45 or older but even the younger vets have trouble finding a job rich says one reason is because there just aren't that many jobs available in part because it's very difficult for a veteran to admit that they can't do it on their own and so if they don't have the skills or the training for the jobs that exist today they've got to have some help to be retrained retooled if you will the state of missouri has a few programs that help veterans get job training we also have a program called show me heroes that offers incentives to businesses who hire veterans mcneil says the state can do more and not rely on private donors to help vets just because they have a family member that's a veteran that they're okay doesn't mean that everybody else is okay. He also says people shouldn't just thank veterans today. You know, it's Veterans Day every day because we live in this great country. As of right now, Welcome Home can only take in about 11 or 12 homeless vets, and they have a waiting list every month for about 15 vets who want to stay warm at night. Live in Columbia, Kirsty Crawford, ABC 17 News. Tonight, Welcome Home is having an event to raise money to help build another shelter that can hold about 30 more homeless veterans.